Hi, fish gang. I have intellectual disability. So you just got into blutch. Blutch. <laughs> what the f*** is this name? And you have no idea what to do. Well, kill yourself. Yes, you heard me right. Kill yourself. Nobody likes you. Drink bleach. Get it? Bleach. Yeah, I'll Be like an angry anti-vaccine protester mom and stand in the middle of the street and share the same fate as that poor anti-vaxxer child. Die an early f***ing death. Soon you'll be run over by some very responsible driver who drives at Mach 10. Yep, doesn't stop at stop signs. Congratulations, you're f***ing dead. Run over by a truck, but too bad you ain't getting isekai. So yeah, no f***ing harem for you. But you know what you have? Eternal suffering. Now here you can choose to be either a ghost ghostbuster, aka soul reaper, aka f***ing pussy, or be an absolute chad and choose to be a hollow. You see that chain in the middle of your chest? Yeah, that's the chain of fate. Press K and rip that sh off because hollows are absolute chads who are not bound by fate. It might be a little bit painful because it requires you to rip your heart out but who cares hearts are for weak people congratulations you're f***ing fat now and you have to kill other fat people to become even fatter now go through the garganta so you can go to the hueco mundo now everything is very dark here because this is where all the edgy kids go and now you have to kill a crap load of hollow so you can become a right eye hollow you know just to be a little bit more edgy to become a red eye hollow you have to be level 15 meaning that you have to have 30 skill points now if you see black sh on the ground eat it yes eat sh first the game wants you to kill yourself now the game wants you to eat sh it's kind of racist honestly but the sh is pretty yummy it gives you one level after some pain and suffering you finally have red eyes now you have the right to be edgy but remember your eyes became red not because you got stronger it's because you cried a lot and suffered too much but wait you haven't suffered enough now you have to clash with another right eye now clashing involves two sad idiots smashing each other at the same time if you successfully smack each other you have to play a mini game that involves smashing your keyboard you could either clash with an npc or another player though you have a bigger chance of success if you clash with an NPC. A lot of people chose not to do so because they're too noob to time their Delta smash. They would rather find another player and count down from three. Like some sort of games of who smacks harder that we play in kindergartens. And finally both die in the process because of some sort of glitch. So don't be stupid, be like Speedwalk and put all your points in speed so it will be easier for you when you clash with an NPC. Now if you fail the clash, you lose levels. But if you succeed, you become a dildo. I mean guilt but they're pretty much the same <laughs> big ass edgy black pinocchios scp 49 looking ass <laughs> now you have to survive 45 minutes to get at you chad shut the f up it's at you chad not at you chas if you die as a gillian you lose levels and you go back to being normal hollow if you change servers you have to start the 45 minutes countdown over again now this is pretty hard a lot of people fail multiple times so if you're a female cat you can rip off your mask now by pressing k and become the weakest iron car the monoscar if you become a monoscar people are gonna laugh at you you're gonna be sad you're gonna be bullied because you're supposed to be a chad but you're not you fail to survive 45 minutes but if you don't want to become pinocchio you have to wait when your left eye turns it means you're almost there man hang on and then suddenly you became even fatter. Congrat, you are Naju Chad now. If you are an average Chad, you could press K and rip off your mask to become a Naju car. Now, Naju car is your average Aaron car. They're, they're fine, they're fine. No one's gonna laugh at you. But if you're the ultimate Chad, you could stay as a Naju Chad, level up to level 50 to become a Vasta Lord by committing mass hollow genocide, killing between 200 to 400 hollows without dying. Now, actually, you could die, but that's not a chat move, obviously. You'll lose 10 to 20% of your kill progress in the process you'll give up multiple times thinking to yourself why you're wasting so much time in the roblox game shouldn't you be studying or like like you know actually having a social life instead of seeking digital power y'all be thinking about some pretty dark shit. you're gonna think about how miserable your life actually is to spend four hours farming in a roblox rpg game you're thinking about if you should actually kill yourself and suddenly you become a vast lord now congratulations, you're at the pinnacle of hollow evolution. An absolute chad. Give yourself a little pat in the back, because you deserve it. Vastolords are very cool, look at those abs! They're badass as f***. 
Falcon are surely stronger than the Atu Chats. The Apex Predators. Absolute alpha males. Now you could finally rip off your mask proudly as the ultimate no life and become a Vastokar, the ultimate Aran car. And yes, I do have Menoscar, Atu car, and Vastokar. You can call me a car collector. But wait a minute, it is not over yet. Now you have to get to level 55 to get your resurrection. But don't worry, your spirit is not an asshole like those pesky dumb soul reaper spirit. You don't have to fight him, he just gives you the resurrection. God damn, such a nice guy. As you can see, I have vamp- I mean Batman. I'm Batman. Using resurrection heals you to full HP, which is kind of OP, but you deserve it because you're hollow. And now you have to level up to 100 because you have no life.